Webster's Dictionary defines escape in this way, to avoid some danger or evil. But Mr. Webster and his dictionary give us no definition for how to escape. This is good, since the last thing we need are prisoners reading dictionaries, <laughs> hoping to escape handcuffs, regulation handcuffs, as used on dangerous criminals. Now, there are many theories about escape artists. For example, people believe that in order to escape, I must carry a large assortment of tools. Tools. I'll let you be the judge of that. But there are those that would doubt the authenticity of these handcuffs. And it is for those doubters in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, that tonight I will submit to an official handcuffing by the Los Angeles Police Department. Tonight, two officers in combination will fasten me into five of the most secure restraints on the planet. All right, first of all, we have prearranged nothing before this performance, is that correct? No. These handcuffs are the absolute real thing. I am not the owners of them, and I have not seen them before tonight's performance, correct? Yes, sir. That is good. Uh, sir, do you have the keys to these various restraints? Yes, sir, I do. You may begin. The history of restraints, and handcuffs for that matter, is really the history of the human condition. Since the beginning of time, a man has sought to punish his fellow man. Unfortunately, he's become quite creative in his methods. Torture, isolation, and iron shackles. Originally of Spanish origin, word of the success of these metal restraints soon swept across Europe, and soon it involved the finest craftsmen of the age. Good, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both of these officers a round of applause. And what would a handcuffing be without a 20-pound ball and chain? And the other officer has a padlock here, and if you can just padlock that chain to the front. Excellent. And now, for a little escapist entertainment. Winner of the award for Best Estate Artist.